I have been filming YouTube videos for a very long time and I realized I've never actually talked about myself, like the basics. So that's what we're doing today. Hello and welcome to my new video. As you just heard, we're talking about me today. Which is fun, I guess. I kind of realized that people will not watch your vlogs if they don't even know who you are. Like if they don't have a connection to you. And it makes sense because I wouldn't do that either. So I'm talking about myself today and I have some questions prepared. I hope it's not too much. I feel like a YouTube video could never be too long. Like, I'm obsessed with long YouTube videos. The second it's over 20 minutes, I'm like, I'm watching this. This is amazing. Everyone has different opinions, so I always try to make videos, like, around the 20 minute mark. I don't know. So, I'm just gonna start right away. First, a few basics about me. My name is Yasmin, or like, Jasmine. Um yeah <laughs> it's so embarrassing saying your name oh crazy anyway my name actually you know you're right Yasmin like my name here on YouTube um the word you know yeah actually means like you are gonna I'm just gonna put the definition here it's a really positive word I don't really remember the definition right now but I'm gonna put it here and I feel like it just represents me and then my name and it's like perfect and it's um, actually a name that's not taken on any top of the platform I've ever tried which is amazing so yeah I'm currently 17 years old I was born on Sunday the 10th of September 20 2006 um, um, so I am a Virgo, which I feel like, I like that. I like being a Virgo. Not that I'm like the biggest person in like astrology and stuff, but I do believe in it and I feel like, I like, I kind of love being a Virgo. I like it. So I was born in Austria. Both my parents are from Austria. All four of my grandparents were born and raised in Austria. So I'm like 100% Austrian. Don't know if that's good or bad. I'm not complaining because I'm very privileged to be born here. Um, and yeah, that's also where I grew up in a small town. I moved around a lot as a child, but always in the same like 30 kilometer radius. So I've always been in the same place, kind of. I I lived with my parents. Um, until I was six, then my mom moved out with me and my brother, um, and then we moved around a little bit like that, and then I moved back after middle school, I moved back alone at 14 to my dad's house, and that's where I am right now, where my dad, me, and my grandma live, and my brother visits every weekend, and I also have a stepsister, because my mom found a new husband, and... Yeah, they have a child. And I love my stepsister and I love my brother. Siblings are a great thing. I love siblings. Um, about my school situation, I go to school. I go to high school. I know like school systems are very different in every country. But basically I have two and a half more years left until I can graduate my from my A-levels. And then I could go to uni or work, basically. And I'm glad when school is over because I'm not, I don't, I'm not so excited about school right now. Actually, today I'm staying home because I'm very sick. Can I say this on your name? Yeah, my parents don't speak English, so it should be fine. But yeah. Okay, so a few of my favorites. My favorite color is green, specifically a dark green. Maybe that bag back there, back there, that's a perfect type of green, I love that bag, um, and I also love purple, 
Today my whole outfit is purple. Wait, my hair. I dyed it yesterday. My jewelry, obviously. And my whole outfit. Even my earrings. And my under eye. Under eye. My under eye shadow. I guess. My favorite season is spring 100% I don't know why spring is not talked about enough we have to talk about it because I know autumn like fall is perfect I, I love autumn it's my second favorite season but have you seen spring like I can't I'm so excited that it's about to be spring I'm so excited spring is just perfect it's like a new beginning like the flowers come out and you know it just all blooms and it's just pretty and it's not too hot and it's not too cold and i just oh spring is the best season and my least favorite season is summer but i love all the seasons because every season has its good points and i love every season and i love romanticizing the season we're in so like currently i'm fucking romanticizing winter because it's so pretty here wait i have to show you Hello. Okay, what are my hobbies? I have a lot of hobbies. I don't do many hobbies, but I feel like my number one hobby is journaling. I have like you I hope you've seen the video, but if not, I can link it somewhere here or here. Um I love journaling. I do it every day. Um I also love writing in my diary, like all the things about writing and journaling and scrapbooking. I love it and I do it every day. And it brings me so much joy. One thing I also like is reading. I love books, audiobooks, podcasts. I'm not a very fast reader. Like, I'm currently reading A Little Life. And, I mean, obviously it has 700 pages, so it's going to take you a while. But it's been taking me a long while. I'm only on page 200, so I can't say anything. But it's probably going to destroy me by the end. By what I've heard of it. Um, I also like to play the guitar. I can't play a single song, so I literally just play the YouTube tutorials and then forget about it after one day. But I still do really enjoy it. Um, another thing is also, I love pen poling. I have, I had one pen pal in France, but she ghosted me or she moved, but she doesn't text me back. Like, write me a letter back. And now I have a pen pal friend in Sri Lanka, which I'm very excited about, and um, Australia, and like Hungary, I think. Then I also, of course, love doing YouTube videos. It brings me so much joy, even if nobody watches it. I just get so much joy from like filming and editing, especially vlogs. I just love it so much. I love watching it like again and again. <laughs> and yeah i love making youtube videos and also like i love drawing even though i don't do it enough i have to because it's really fun and it makes me feel really creative what am i currently looking forward to so this one's a hard question because i'm very scared of the things i'm looking forward to but basically i'm going to go to ireland for three months well 14 weeks in June, June 1st, I have my flight and it's so scary and I'm gonna be working there, it's it's for school um, and I'm gonna be working there in a hotel or a bed and breakfast or something like that but it's really... last year I was in Switzerland for five, five weeks which was already like a crazy experience Ireland's like crazy, I've never been on a plane and my first time will be flying alone, which is crazy, because I don't know how this shit works. And then I'll be in a different country and speak English in an actual country for the first time. Uh, it's so exciting, but also so scary. And it's so soon, too. And one other thing I'm looking forward to is the time after Ireland, where I will hopefully, please pray for me, um, move out. I know. Um, I'll be 18 the second or the day I get here, home, back home from Ireland, 
and then I have five weeks of summer summer break and that's where I will try to, to find a place to stay and move out which is exciting but very scary and my financial resources are looking really bad but my mom supports me my dad doesn't so much but my mom supports me at least and I support myself of course <laughs> I'm gonna try to find a job or something that I can do next to school which will also be exhausting so we'll see about that but yeah I'm very excited about like the next year of my life like this year a lot of things are going to change and then in September I'll also be an adult which is crazy absolutely crazy I don't want to be 18 at all growing up is really scary <laughs> one thing I couldn't go a day without probably tea I'm a big tea person I drink like at least half a liter of tea so two teas a day I always take tea to school I get nervous when I don't have tea around me you know yeah and probably also my phone because I'm addicted to my phone and I just need like and also I have a really good online friends and I wouldn't want to go a day without talking to them so I feel like I would need my phone and some tea and my journals and I'll be happy that's all I need what's the greatest struggle I've ever faced I feel like the the biggest struggle I've ever faced I don't know why I'm touching my hair and face so much Jeez, it probably looks really weird probably my anxiety because I struggle with it every single day and I've been for like years so I think it's like the greatest tr struggle I have struggled with depression a lot too um, and I did go to mental hospital for it but I feel like in general my anxiety has done more more harm than that because it was just a small time but I don't know and I also currently struggle with like the thought of moving out I feel like because it's so it's such a big thing and I'm only a kid and it's really scary but I feel like it's what I need to do what superpower would I choose? I would definitely either choose um, reading people's minds or healing people. Now, reading people's minds because a lot of people struggle in like silence. So I feel like if I could read people's minds, I could help more or just healing people because that would mean I also help people, which is actually my goal in life. So I just want to make people around me happy and I hope that my company makes them happy and I hope that I can help them in life and I hope that they can help me too. Who's my favorite artist or celebrity? I feel like Taylor Swift is a big one. All those Taylor Swift haters have made me hate her a little bit but I'm trying to get rid of that because bitch they're just trying to destroy stuff that makes other people happy and it's so rude like obviously she makes mistakes we all make mis make mistakes oh and it's just uh i hate it so much but i do love taylor and i love her music i also love emma chamberlain who also is getting a lot of hate but i love her her videos are so good and her podcast is good too i feel like a lot of people are hating on that but i like it for music my favorite artist last year was Noah Khan and then Taylor Swift and then some small artists and also like Harry Styles and Olivia Rodrigo and Lana Del Rey and all these people were also high up there but I do listen to a lot of small artists and I can show you some of the artists I like I'm currently also really really getting back into my German indie music era so I can show you some artists of that but I've been like into German music a lot and lately it's just been exploding because I'm loving it. I really want to go to my first concert this year. It's in my goals for this year. And I would just, oh, I would, it would be so fun to go to a concert. Like, right? I really am looking forward to that and hoping that it's going to happen. Okay, last question is what's my longest or who's my longest running relate no <laughs> who's my uh, who's my 
who's my longest friendship that I've had. So I feel like there's not really somebody I can think of specifically, but I think my lifelong best friend is my brother and my cousin. I taught her how to walk the stairs and obviously I taught my brother like everything in life because he's so much younger than me, right? Two years. And my cousin is four years younger than me. So I really did teach her a lot and she's so... I love seeing her grow up and I love seeing my brother grow up. They're both amazing people and also let's not forget my other cousin. Um, we're not as close as my brother and my cousin but we're together in a friend group called the Ye Ye's. We also made a few videos. And I love this whole friend group and I love these people. And we always have a good time. But I feel like those are my longest friendships. But I'm related to all of them so... I don't know if that counts, but for me it does. Okay, so that was all the questions I had. I think the time's pretty good. So that was the video. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. I feel like those questions were like a good mix of like silly questions and serious questions and everything. I feel like you got to know me really well. Um, just about me because I have to mention it my biggest goal in life is love and I want love for everyone I want peace and love I feel like I want to just I like I feel love so deeply love I talk about love every day I think about love when I wake up before I go to bed love is my biggest goal in life and I hope that it shows online and in real life that I am just a very loving person and that I will do everything to be kind and help people yeah that's like a really big part about me part of me it's just love yeah okay that's it with the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you will click on my next video or on my old videos and i love you all and i'm giving you hugs and hopes and see you next time